Welcome to the National Institute of Academics. Present perfect continuous tense, interrogative form, negative form, and use of since and for. The present perfect continuous is a tense used in English to describe an action that started in the past and has continued up until the present moment. It is formed using the present tense of the auxiliary verb have plus been plus the present participle, ing form, of the main verb. For example, she has been studying for three hours. The action of studying started in the past and has continued up until the present moment. They have been waiting for the bus since 8 a.m. The action of waiting started in the past and has continued up until the present moment. To form an interrogative sentence in this tense, we invert the subject and auxiliary verb have, and add the main verb in the present participle, ing form, at the end of the sentence. For example, Have you been working on your project all day? This is asking if the person has been continuously working on their project from the past until now. Has he been playing tennis for two hours? This is asking if the person has been continuously playing tennis for two hours. To form a negative sentence in this tense, we use the auxiliary verb have plus not plus been plus the present participle, ing form, of the main verb. For example, she has not been sleeping well lately. This means that she has been having trouble sleeping recently. They have not been practicing their English enough. This means that they have not been practicing their English as much as they should be. Use of since and for. Both since and for are used to indicate the duration of an action that started in the past and has continued up until the present moment. Since is used to indicate the specific point in time when the action started. It is followed by a specific time or date. For example, She has been living in New York since 2015. This means that she started living in New York in 2015 and has continued to live there up until the present moment. For is used to indicate the length of time that the action has been taking place. It is followed by a period of time. For example, they have been working on the project for two weeks. She has been practicing the piano for an hour. It's important to note that since is used with a specific point in time, while for is used with a period of time. Additionally, since is followed by a specific time or date, while for is followed by a period of time, such as two weeks, three hours, a year, etc.